AT&T reporting earnings and revenue that beat estimates. AT&T saw better than expected customer ads in its wireless business and a lower than expected churn rate. It also added 2.8 million domestic subscribers to its various HBO services. Join us now to discuss more is Sarah Fisher, Axios media reporter. We can, uh, I guess it comes under your umbrella for a little while longer. I guess telecom is part of media, Sarah, but... Uh, Sooner or later, it, until it's going to be... Huh? Until when? Then it's over? No, I'm saying that there's so many other things in media that Sarah would be ready to talk about. That's true. Like Netflix or like, I don't know, all these other things. And, and AT&T... Now, you know, Sarah, one thing I, I think people forget, won't AT&T shareholders have, have a stake in how well Zaslav runs those assets? I mean, isn't that a potential upside? That, that's something that's not pointed out very often. That's true. They will have some upside. And so that 2.7 million subscribers that they added this quarter matters. It also matters if they're lifting guidance. I think they said they think they'll have 70 million subscribers to HBO and HBO Max. So yes, it's good. But at the end of the day, AT&T, the good news here is that the fundamentals are actually in good place, Joe. For a long time, they were so distracted by these media assets that are now all being divested that we weren't hearing as much important notice about things like the postpaid uh, phone subscriber editions or their fiber editions, the lowest churn rate ever for Q2 and fiber this quarter. It's great for the first time. We're hearing great things about the fundamentals. We're not being distracted by this media stuff that, quite frankly, is not going to be as important to their business long term. And there's talk about spinning off or, or selling or somehow getting rid of, of Xander because it doesn't make sense uh, anymore. What no, do you know? definitely doesn't make sense. We had a report about that earlier this week. And what's sad about it is they spent a lot of money, I think $1.6 billion on AppNexus, a few hundred million dollars on other investments. And they're probably going to sell it, Joe, for I'm hearing way less than a billion dollars. It's going to be likely some sort of fire sale if they don't write it off. And so that's been the weird thing about AT&T. They actually are doing well in phone and internet in their core business. But there's been so much distractions about all of these other side things that they need to spin out in order to get back to 5G. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.